Protesters lobbied in the Capitol earlier tonight against Senate Bill 1236. The legislation is often referred to as the fetal heartbeat bill. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs is live at the Capitol tonight. And Kelsey, we know this is a sensitive topic for those on both sides. That's exactly right, Rory. And as you can see behind me, protesters are still here. They've been out here since 4 p.m. Now they packed inside the Senate gallery, and now they're outside the chamber doors waiting for lawmakers. Many, as you can see, wearing these makeshift hospital gowns. Some reading SB 1236 is extreme, dangerous, and unconstitutional. Now members with Planned Parenthood, medical students, and abortion advocates all in attendance. This legislation has already passed the House. It, was criminal, it will criminalize almost all abortions after the point a fetal heartbeat is detected. Protesters say this is a dangerous bill, and if it passes, women will be forced to use unsafe means for an abortion. They also tell us it's fiscally irresponsible because they deem it as unconstitutional and finding it in court could cost taxpayers. Now, last week, Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally told reporters on Thursday that they're working with the Attorney General to see if the fetal heartbeat bill can be fixed in a way that keeps the state out of the courts. McNally says one of his worries is if this bill does become law and it is declared unconstitutional, it will wipe out any progress that's been made as far as limiting abortions that the legislature has taken over the years. But these advocates say the bill is, in fact, unconstitutional. We want to tell um, the public and our Tennessee lawmakers that the people of Tennessee deserve better. We deserve access to safe, legal abortion. And if they take that away from us, the, this is the reality. Um, people will use methods that they used before Roe. Now, while the author of the bill, Senator Mark Pody, took to Facebook on Friday saying that the heartbeat bill will, in fact, be placed on the Senate Judiciary Committee tomorrow at 3 p.m. Well, coming up tonight at 10, we're going to hear from that lawmaker as well as more from protesters. But for now, we are live at the state capitol. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel.